Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over what limiting beliefs are, how they show up in our trading, um, and how they affect us in our trading, and some quick little ways on how we can begin to overcome them. So limiting beliefs are essentially uh, thought patterns, um, the way we speak to ourselves or view ourselves, stories that we ourselves have experienced or stories that other people have told us. Um, and to give you some examples um, really quickly on how they can affect us, as some of you may be aware or not aware of it, but let's say for example a quick one. Let's just say you're trading and you want to make this a profession or you want to make this um, a source of income, but somebody told you actually, you know, you can't make money off trading or you can't make a living off of trading. Now, them telling you that is, see is seeping into your subconscious and giving you that idea that you actually cannot make money uh, trading or you can't succeed in trading. Uh, for example, the way it can show up in your trading is, let's just say every time you're green, somehow you end up giving back all your profits. Or if you're in a winning position, you may not take your profit and just let it go red. A bunch of other things as well. So to give you some examples on my, um, my own experience with limiting beliefs, and I'll give you some others of people that I've worked with. So for myself, a really, really big one for me was uh, my older brother. And uh, actually, I'll save that for another time. My dad, he would always tell me, hey son, um, if you want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to go to school, you're going to have to get like a job and all, you know, the whole nine yards. I'm sure all of us have heard about that. So what I've noticed in my own trading is that, well, at least before, not anymore, thankfully, before when those beliefs were really stuck in my subconscious, I was operating out of that, um, out of those thoughts or those beliefs. Every time I made money, I would do something that would sabotage myself and give it right back because somewhere deep inside, I, I also believed that I didn't deserve to make easy money, that the only way to make the money that I was making, I would need to go to school or, you know, get a job and stuff like that. Um, and of course, you're more than welcome to ask questions in the comments and I'll gladly answer them. Um, another example, which I'll get to, is uh, one of my students, or former students, it was discovered that a lot of his, how, uh, let me put this in a nice way, a lot of his setbacks in his trading were from a major limiting belief that we uncovered. So it turns out that his parents, um, told him that he would never succeed in trading. Um, his mother told him that um, trading isn't a way to make money. It's only a way to lose money. So for him, every time he would be doing really well, he would immediately, like literally either the same day or the same week, he would give all of those profit back, all of the profits back and probably blow up accounts consistently because there was a belief there that kept on saying, well, you're making money, but in reality, this is not real because like we've been taught and told, we actually can't make any money in trading. So when there are certain things in your subconscious, like limiting beliefs, your body is, is through action going to make those things come true. In my case, when my father would always tell me, um, you know, I can't make good money trading, through my actions and through that belief system, I would mess myself up to prove that correct. But in reality, um, that's not the case because there's many people who are making money, trading and successful at it. And even myself now, being a successful full-time trader, I can attest that it is very, very doable. Um, so some ways to begin to transition out of your limiting beliefs would be to First, you have to identify what it is and where it's coming from. So for myself, I realized that 
uh, a good a big one was from my father from my dad where he would always tell me hey look you can't make money off of this and and x y and z or even with me coaching people which from my results clearly are opposite of what he would mention but anyway so um, by identifying what the beliefs are from there we can progress towards removing them and one way like I mentioned the first step would be just to identify what they are and some of the things that I myself use and continue to use is you can keep a record of um, things that disprove that so for example for me I have an entire folder full of screenshots and testimonials and reviews from me helping other traders and things that they've had to say um, on top of that as you become better at your trading and more consistent you can literally see from your P&L and what it's showing you well clearly I know what I'm doing because I'm making money and I'm making money consistently so it's obvious that this is that this is a way to make money and it's a way to make good money um, another thing that you can practice is affirmations so for example um, for myself I would always tell myself I am a successful and consistent and profitable trader and at first if you're not used to that or speaking highly of yourself or switching certain thought patterns it's gonna feel a little weird so if it does that's perfectly normal um, but over time as you continue to um, reinvent yourself and think of a new future and possibility to your, for yourself it will start to overtake the old programming and allow you to operate out of that state so if we're talking bad about ourselves or we're or we continuously just think of all these negative thoughts and these negative beliefs that aren't conducive to the goals or to the life that we want to live there's going to be um there's going to be a lot of uh, lost my train of thought here bear with me there's going to be a lot of um, essentially your mind is going to be is going to feel a little off because when we start talking about all these good things your mind is going to be like wait what do you mean we're successful what do you mean uh, we're profitable people what do you mean we're happy what do you mean this what do you mean that your mind is going to uh, take some time to um, get used to that, to the change, especially in the thought patterns and what you're telling yourself. Um, so again, when you do begin it, if it is a little weird for you, don't worry about it. That's perfectly fine. Just keep at it and you'll start to see that your thought process and the way you view certain things are going to change. And in the comments, I'll share with you uh, two other videos that can help you in that. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, as per usual YouTube fashion, like, subscribe, share it with others who may benefit from this. Um, and if you yourself would like any personal help with it, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions in order to um, find out exactly what you may be struggling with and how we can overcome those obstacles that you may have and how I can help you, like me, become a successful and profitable trader. Any questions as always, feel free to ask and I'll see you guys later. Peace.